Hi everybody, thanks for watching. You're looking at a Master Flow Power Attic Ventilator. This is the gable mounted fan. It's electric, you need to wire it to a house. This is the model PG2. It uh, moves 20% more air than the PG1. And it's uh, what they claim is smart energy for any climate. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the, our, our two story garage behind me uh, in the attic, at the top of the attic. And this model is nice because it comes with a uh, integrated uh, thermostat or an attached thermostat so it's got everything you need to get this thing blowing out hot air from your attic to keep your attic a little more cool and uh, in my case keep my things that I store up there a little less uh, beat up I don't want them to go 120 down to 70 at night I want them to stay around the same temperature as the other garage uh, this is for attics up to 2400 square feet uh, our attic is about 40 by 25 so about a thousand um, pretty decent. It moves about 1,540 cubic feet per minute. And uh, without much further ado, I'm going to go over there and open it up and we'll show you how it is. And then later on, we'll install it. So, not much to it, um, but enough. You can see the thermostat is on that conduit, that armored conduit, and ending up in that blue box. And then it's got your metal, it's about, it looks like about a 10 inch uh, sheet metal uh, shield around the fan blades. And down here, looks like we have our mounting kit. So I'm going to take a look at this and figure out what I need to do to install it. All right, here we are in the garage attic. It's a pretty tall attic, that's about a 10 foot ceiling. Um, the gable's about eight feet off the ground there, that hole that we're going to do. But we got this main support that I'm going to cut right here and move that piece down about three feet to give me a, a clear shot on that hole up there. And we'll secure that in place. I just cut that joist there, the support there. And I'm going to pull it off the top and lower it down. Uh, it goes together pretty quick. It just comes with these already bent angle iron pieces, and you can see that they are creased right there with a small a small crease right there. So that'll go on the rounded part of the uh, fan casing, and then the flat three holes will go on the wall. All right, here's the easiest way I thought of to do this. I just attached those four uh, metal brackets. One, two three and four while this is on the uh, ground and I'll use just a couple of two inch uh, screws to put it in sorry it's hot up here to tack it in top and bottom then I'm going to brace it on the sides all right there it is tacked in place top and bottom I've got one at about the 11 o'clock and five o'clock to tack it in place but before I do that I'm going to run basically a square of two by fours on each side kind of a diamond shape to cover up the rest of the hole so it doesn't uh, have such a huge gap there that way it'll provide a nice seal and get rid of and give me a nice spot to uh, secure the fan in so it doesn't vibrate too much. So I'll cut this, uh, this 2x4 up at the right angles and, and put that up. But looking pretty good. Alright, it's wired. It's not pretty. I still have to clean the wire up and make it look a little more professional. And it's on. I just set the, I just set the thermostat to 80 degrees up there. And down here about 3 feet off the ground, just so you know, Currently 95 degrees. So I'm going to let this run for 15 or 20 minutes. We'll leave that up there. I think it's about 80 outside, so I don't know how cool it's going to get, but uh, there you go. It's on, set at 80, and we're going to see how this how this goes. Price again costs about 80 bucks, or $90, $89.99. Uh, has a thermostat in it, and it should cool off this attic. Slash storage space so I can uh, keep my things up here without worry that they're going to just melt or get all yucked up. Um, pretty excited. I'm going to go outside look at the event to see how it looks.